Hi guys, hope you're well. Just wanted to do a little making of video for this new track I've done with Barney Artist. It's called Blowing Steam. And I wanted to talk you through the sample and how I put it all together. So let's have a listen. So here's the sample on its own. So why don't we just start from scratch and find Dancer's Inferno. This is the record, John Dancer, 1975. Absolutely no idea how I found this. I'd like to say it was some mythical record shop somewhere. Um, it was definitely just some cold, heartless algorithm on YouTube that literally put it in my hands. Um, but let's listen to the track. Shout out to John Dancer, thank you for letting me use this sample. So let's just record the bit we need, which is just right at the beginning. That is it. It's just this little bit here. Yeah. That is all we need. Now it's a bit fast, so the first thing I'm going to do is pitch it down two semitones. That's much better. So, I mean, with that, we're kind of halfway there. If we just literally put the beat under that, it sounds pretty good, I think. And then I just doubled it and let's put it here, doubled it and flip reversed it, put it backwards. Simple as that. I mean, let's have a listen. Okay, so at the end it goes a bit crazy. So we don't want these two high notes here. I think we just want to pitch one of these down to make do 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 do. So this one's a nice little, you get his voice in that, that section. Duh. But we want duh, duh, duh. So we're gonna pitch that down. Let's try th minus three. Still not quite there, so one more. That's it. Duh, duh, duh. And then we need duh. So I wanna take this big fat brass bit. Blah. Just put that here. Do, 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 but we want do, 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 do. So once again, just down one semitone. Do, 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 do. That is it. And now there's just this We've got one beat left in this loop and I don't want to just cut it like dramatically like. So what I did was just take some of this empty space from the first sample. And it's like the decay of the saxophone. It just fades away like that. So you just take that and add it on the end just to fill this gap. And I think that's it, let's have a listen. The timing might be a bit all over the place. Pretty good.
Shout out to John Dancer. Thank you very much for letting me use that. Thanks for watching. Hope that was interesting. Have a nice day. Bye.